What's up guys, Dreamcast Guy here. Just wanted to do a fast thing about the fact that Nintendo has just announced that they will not do doing any form of a press conference uh, this year at E3. Uh, they're still going to have a few like more quiet, low-key events showing off some of their new games, but they're not going to be showing off any new hardware or anything. It's just going to be like, hey, here's some new games. It surprises a lot of people, but I actually watched the live feed last year uh, at E3 2012 for Nintendo's press conference, and it was actually only about 45 minutes, and it was pretty much this, them walking out and be like, this is the Wii U, let's all pretend to be excited about carnival games, you can play hide and seek with two controllers, dad'll buy you this because it has a hang gliding simulator, please buy this, god I'm going broke so fast, and then after that, there was this weird 15 minute video that looped for the remainder of their like two hour time slot on the website I was watching it on where it was just Iwata in this tiny little office talking about Zombie U and Carnival games and that's it. Like It was just literally like, hey, isn't this game going to be great? Hey, isn't this game going to be great? Just looped every 15 minutes. Uh, and they already gave out a lot of their big announcements already. The fact that what I assume is going to be their biggest sales figure game this year is going to be the new Zelda, because everybody, everyone's got to buy that shit. It actually looks pretty good, even if it's a 3DS exclusive, which unfortunately I don't have. But even I'm pretty tempted to buy one for the new Zelda, a direct sequel to A Link to the Past. That's pretty cool. The fact that they just went ahead and blew their load early and didn't fucking announce it at E3 kind of shows that they're kind of running out of tricks. They don't have anything for us. Uh, I don't know. It'll be really interesting to see what they do show or what they bother with or what Microsoft and Sony are going to do to fill that extra attention because now all the big news people can't like separate an entire day just to the Nintendo press conference instead now it's just going to be like holy shit Sony holy shit Xbox 720 holy shit more video games than the other consoles we already talked about it's gonna be interesting all right I guess we'll just have to keep our eyes peeled and hope Nintendo doesn't just completely go Sega on us and become a third-party developer, because let's face it, if all they were was a developer, they would be piss-poor indeed. This has been Dreamcast Guy saying, keep your hopes up and keep dreaming.